Hi, welcome back to RetroAxis. In the last episode, I destroyed a brand new CyberPower battery backup. This was because I found a problem with it. Well, since then, I've received my replacement from the manufacturer, and in this episode, we're gonna open it up and make sure that everything is okay. Let's get started. I don't really like to do unboxing videos, but I think this is a special situation. You know, it's very unusual to receive something from a manufacturer where it's broken out of the box. You know, either something was damaged in shipping or there's some other problem. But in this case, I felt that opening this for the first time on video, just to kind of see if the quality or issue is still the same in this particular unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Now, if you recall from the first video, uh, I had found a component on the inside that was rattling around. And the first thing that had happened when I opened it was as I pulled it out, I could hear the sound. So let's listen. So first impression, I think everything is okay. So let's give it the turn. It feels pretty solid. I don't think there's anything actually wrong. So let's take it out of the bag. So here it looks like an intact unit, doesn't seem to be refurbished. It looks like it's, it is indeed a brand new replacement unit. Still has the, the covering on the screen here. The USB ports are here. Uh, everything looks to be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and we'll see if it fires up. All right, so I've got the unit here ready to be plugged into the outlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in now. Okay. So it is in the socket. Now I'm gonna press the on button and it should go through the self-test. Okay. So it appears everything's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cover over the display. Get a bit clearer picture. And I think it's ready for operation. I'm gonna test this USB port here in the front by charging a PlayStation remote. And insert this into the USB-A slot. And I see it's getting a charge, which is great. Great, so I've verified that the USB ports are working. Let's try something else. Okay, so another low power test, but what I wanna do here is I've got my Maximite microcomputer. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the battery side on the back. And on the rear of this panel, they're actually color coded, so I know which ones are surge and which ones are surge uh, only, or surge with battery. So now I've got the Maximite and the monitor uh, plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and double check real quickly here, see if we have any uh, readings. Okay, so I can see now I'm actually outputting at 60 hertz. And I can now see I've actually got some voltage. Now the monitor just went to sleep, so that just went to zero. But let's see what happens when I turn on the Maximite. Maximite's on, screen's on, and 46 volts. That's not bad. So we're outputting three watts. Battery's charging, it's at 94%, that's great. All right, now let's test an actual event. I'm gonna pull the power and let's see what happens. Okay, it's on battery, everything's still going. There's my beep. It looks like this thing's working like a champ. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this replacement. It looks like it's gonna work out just fine. So I'll be putting this thing into service. So there's a brand new working CyberPower battery backup unit. So I'm really excited that I was able to complete the RMA process with very little hassle. It was certainly fun to be able to destroy the previous unit. If you didn't see that video, go back and check it out. I kind of go through the process of disassembling one of these units, uh, finding the actual source of the, of the bad noise. Uh, and had a little fun in the process. And if you didn't watch the video till the very end after the credits, there's a little hidden gem there for you to go check out. So that's it for this episode of Retroaxis. 
Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, give me some comments and feedback on what you'd like to see in future episodes. Take care.